Okay, good morning everyone. So we have to again introduce no? a differential equation. No? So if we are given sets of examples and we are asked to determine whether those equations no? are differential equations or not. No? So it's good to first recall no? or first define no? what is a differential equation. Okay, so I have to make my definition simpler by stating this, no? So, differential equations, or DE, no? They are equations involving derivatives or differentials of function. So, if your equation contains a derivatives or differential of functions, then the equation is classified as a differential equation. So, we must again be familiar, no? So, we need to familiarize the symbol used denoting derivatives of function. Like for example, in number one, no? reading on the terms involved, no? so if there is a derivative present in number one, then it is a differential equation. Like, if you read the first being a dy dx, so meaning there is a first derivative involved in problem number one, or example number one, which means your first is a dx. Second, y double prime means derivative, do right? So, if there is a derivative in number 2, like a second order derivative plus 4, then first order derivative minus 6y plus 2 equal to 0, then that means it is a differential equation. Now, number 3 is different with the first 2. Because if we read your number 3, no? So, this is just read as y squared. No? So, your 2 here is indicating an exponent or a power of your function y. No? That's equal to 4x minus 5. So, if 1 and 2 are differential equations, then number 3 is not a d. Number 4, obviously, it contains a derivative. No? Y triple prime. That's a derivative. So, I may not look for other terms because once your first term has a derivative, then it's considered as a d. Okay, 4 is a DE, number 5. So, I have to look for a term with derivatives if there is. No? So, this is first. This is first, raised to cube. So, this is a DE. Number 6, okay, try to inspect. So, there is no derivative because this is just Y equal to X cubed plus 4X minus 5. So, it is just an equation not considered as a differential equation. 7, so there is Y double prime. That means second order derivative of function. So, this is a DE. In number 8, there is no derivative, but if you notice, there is a differential of x and a differential of y. So, it involves a differential of functions. So, again, number 8 is a d. Now, number 9, number nine this is somewhat different with the first set. No? Because if we have y, there is a number 3 that is placed inside a parenthesis. No? Now, parenthesis actually denotes a third or an order of a derivative. So, if I have 3 here, then that means this is a third order derivative of function. Okay? So, without a parenthesis, so that can be interpreted being an ordinary exponent or a power of a function. No? So, just like with your number 3, this is just read as y squared. In number 9, so, if there is no parenthesis, you can read it as also as y cube. But on this case, there is a parenthesis. So, 3 is actually the order of your function y. Number 10. So, number 9 is a d. Number 10 is obviously also a d. Okay? So, as answers. Okay. So, you have them as answers. Okay? So, in... Recalling, no? so the different notation used, no? so functions, first derivative, when we, differenti we are differentiating the function y, so we are actually taking its rate of change. So symbol can be dy dx or y prime. Y double prime for the second derivative, no? so we are taking the rate of change of the dy dx, by the way, geometrically, dy dx is actually a rate of change for the function, or it is a slope of your curve. No? So, if we go with the secant, then we are taking the rate of change of the first derivative. First derivative is again slope. Not the slope, maybe increasing, maybe decreasing. So, with your function, function is increasing, function is decreasing. So, that can be 
an application yan of taking the derivative of function. First, second, third, or whatever. Na? Now, if you are after for the ninth order derivative of function, so you must go taking the derivative of a derivative whose order is one lower than the derivative you are after. So if the order is n, I'm interested with the derivative of order n, so I must differentiate a derivative whose order is n minus 1. But I can have dn y dx n, or we have a th uh, nth order derivative of the function. Now again, recalling the notation we have now. Okay, so we have this now. If you have y a function of x, function is actually composed of variables and constant. Na? So our function has a variable of x and y. F denotes the function name. No? So x is the independent. So the variable here, muna itong tawagun o independent. So this is your own sign, dependent variable. So if you write your function explicitly, no? so under an explicit notation. When differentiation is made, and you take the derivative of the function in a notation like this, no? so the function being differentiated with respect to x, so x is the one. Kaning na adres ubus? Muna itong tawagun o independent. So, sa imo hakarong derivative, so on say function nga imong gidifferentiate, so that function, cy, is your dependent. Okay, so you have dy dx, or a similar notation for a derivative which is a, a, a prime. Okay, so with that, so again, your x, asa ni mo kuha on? Dari? Na? Kung on say imong gigamit pag differentiate, or pag sa imong rate of change, na? then y is your dependent variable. Now, if written in a differential form, because if you read this as dy dx, that is surely a derivative. But if you read that as dy over dx, then, then it is a ratio of differential. So just like a fraction, so you can multiply with the dx both sides, so the dy can be defined as a product of a derivative and the differential of its independent variable. So writing your dx. In a form of a different, in a differential form. So while we know that y and x are variables, no, so you cannot say that y is the dependent, nor x is the dependent, uh, uh, x as dependent or independent, because when writing your equation in a differential form, so you can consider your independent variable either x or y. The dependent variable is either x or y because you can define it as dx dy or dy dx. So, muna pwede rin mo interchange. No? If you let your x be the dependent, so y will become the independent. Kung ang imong x mo imo o ni mo nga independent, then y will become the dependent. Okay? So, because you can interchange them. If they are written in, a, or the equation is written in a differential form. Now, I'd mention, actually, on sa nang dependent and independent variable, because the next, which is the classification of a DA, will depend on the presence of your independent variable. Okay, so we have the classification of a differential equation. Okay, so we can classify the DA according to type. So we have a DA which is classified as ordinary DA or differential equation, we also have a partial differential equation. Okay, a differential equation with only one independent variable is an ordinary differential equation. Okay, partial is a is an equation or a DA containing two or more independent variable which can easily be identified also with the presence of partial derivatives in your equation. Okay, so here are examples. So, this involves an ordinary derivative. One, no? So, osarasad ka independent which is x, no? Osaraman sana ka uh, derivative term, no? So, there's only one independent variable which is x, no? So, that means this is a, uh, this is an ordinary d. Okay, now, number two. Okay, so this is ordinary, no? dy dx mana. D squared y, dx squared. Correct? dy dx, no? So, that means this is ordinary. Number three, ordinary. Now, if you have to check all the equations, only number four contains a partial derivative of the function. And if you go with the independent variable, my independent variable are x and t. Your dependent variable is u. While I can call u and x and t being variables, there is another letter 
represent which is not considered as a variable like letter C in number 4. By the way, kinisya, if this is a symbol not denoting a, a variable in your equation, then we can call that as the parameter of your equation. Actually, it is a constant no? that is still present in your differential equation. Okay, so partial, the first three are sa ordinary. Number 5 is also ordinary. No? So, this is also ordinary. So, y prime is interpreted as a dy dx, correct? Then, kine, dy dx, so x is the independent. Okay? Y double prime. Okay, so in number 7, this is again an equation that contains a parameter. The parameter here is r, correct? Okay, so r because if we have y double prime, d squared y, dx squared, y is the dependent, x is the independent, so r is not a variable. So this is a parameter in your equation. So again, for our answer, so all the dA are ordinary except the number 4. No? So in number 4, you notice the symbol used for a derivative is different with the other the other examples. Okay? Now, another classification of a DA is we can classify DA as the order. Okay, so the order of a differential equation takes the order of the highest order derivative found in the differential equation. So if there are several terms involving the derivative, so you have to look for a term having the highest order because that order will also serve as the order of your differential equation. Okay? So again, we have different example. Okay, good for number one because there's only one derivative term. Dy dx means first order. So the d is also containing first order. Now in number two, I have two derivative terms. Y double prime, y prime. So the highest is two or order of two. So the d also have an order of two. Okay, kine. Third, first, this is second. The highest is third. So the order is three. This is in an order. Now, partial derivative of second order. Partial derivative of second order. So, they have the same order. Correct? So, the order is equal to 2. Number 5. The order is 1. The order is 1. Only on the second, this is raised to cube. This is raised to 1. But, talking with the order, so, they have the same order of 1. So, the order is still 1. This is second order for the first term in number 6. Correct? So, dy dx raised to cube, correct? Okay, so that means the highest order in number 6 is also 2. Now, in number 7, y double prime, no? Okay, so which means second order? y prime means first order. So the order of the DA is 2. Okay, so let's have the different answers for the examples. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, 2 as the order of your D. Okay? So, as to the degree, the degree of the differential equation is the degree or power to which the highest order derivative is raised. No? So, out from a term, when the order is taken, then it is also that expression where the power or the degree can be identified. But in cases where there is a fractional power or a presence of radicals, na, then you need to clear, to clear the equation with fractional power with respect to all the derivatives. Okay, so here are examples. Na. If I'm going to check the type order degree, type of this is ordinary. Order is, what's the order? 1 and 2. The order is 2. Okay, let's go with the degree. If I have two terms involving derivative, wherein dy dx is raised to 3, so this is already a degree for a term, correct? But if the order of this is only 1, and the order here is 2, so this is the highest order derivative. So the order of your d is 2. So whatever power you have here now, then that will serve as the degree. So what is the exponent of our first term, the exponent of this is 1. So if that is 1, then the degree here is also equal to 1. In number 2, dy dx, first order, dy dx, first order. So if they have different different power, 
So this is 2 and this is 1. So you also have to go with the highest power because they have the same order. So I must go with the highest power being the degree. In number 3, while I have second order, derivative for this, first order, okay? This is raised to 2. This is raised to 1, no? But I cannot identify directly the degree of the equation number 3. Why? Because... There is a fractional power in my right hand member of my equation. So I have to remove, I have to clear this equation with fractional power. It can be done if I have, if I have to raise this to an exponent up to both sides. No? So as to answer, ang ako ang primero has a degree of 1, ang ikado has a degree of 2, ang number 3 has a degree of 1. Because I have to raise this to power 2, the degree of this is also 2. By the way, order akong nasuat, so just, uh, anyway, the order, what's the order? It's also 2. Okay, so let's say, hope, pero if the degree is needed, then you can also have the degree which is 2 because you are raising that to a power 2. Just to show you, no, how the degree of number 3 was identified, okay, so it's done through a process of simplification, no? So, I am raising both sides to a power 2 to remove my denominator of my fractional power, which is 2. So, raising this to 2 makes a denominator, a, a new uh, integer power of 3 at the right end member. So, the denominator is eliminated with the integer power being used, no, which is 2. Taking the square, both sides. So, taking the square also both sides, so the y double prime. Okay, is now raised to power 2, and 2 will now serve as the degree. Okay, so for the definition of a DA and its classification, actually, we are done. Okay, so thank you for watching, and I hope it is properly understood. Okay, so till the next video, a continuation of this. Okay, bye-bye.